Good evening. We're here in South West London, in Richmond upon Thames, as part of the BNP's Operation Fightback. Now, Operation Fightback is our new campaign uh, to try and combat all forms of media and political bullying. Um, as you know, the British National Party has has got a bad image. That's what most people say, and uh, it's the media and the constant attacks from the police the educational establishment, trade unions, all of these groups that are responsible for this bad image. Uh, and we've always been attacked with impunity. And it's about time that enough is enough. Now, on this Saturday just gone, following the very successful uh, by-election victory in Swanley, Kent, where I was elected to Seven Oaks Council, um, the independent newspaper published uh, an article, but they, it was accompanied by this photo, which is of a, a, a small fringe group called the Nationalist Alliance. Now, the Nationalist Alliance has got nothing to do with the British National Party whatsoever. Nothing at all. But they tried passing them off as British National Party members. Now, the way we dealt with this was we organised a huge and unprecedented campaign of uh, complaints and pressure. We handed in legal notice to the Independent. We organised a huge campaign of complaints against the Press Complaints Commission, trying to get them to do something. Now, it was in The Guardian several days back that they received the highest number of complaints in their entire history. Over a thousand complaints. They was really shell-shocked that they've received so many complaints. So we thank everyone out there who took the time to, to write, write their complaint and fill out their complaints form and send them into the Press Complaints Commission. But uh, tonight, we're going to be visiting the person responsible for putting this outrageous lie into this newspaper, the deputy political editor, Nigel Morris. Now, as most BNP members know, sometimes we get doorsteps by journalists. So now, tonight, we're going to turn these, these methods back on these media bullies. And, uh, well, let's go and see Mr Nigel Morris. And let's see what he's got to say. Mr Morris has threatened legal action if we show our interview with him on his doorstep. Bill O'Reilly, the most outspoken commentator on America's Fox News, declared the press largely left-wing liberal. Anyone who challenges them will be slimed, attacked and vilified. And so it is in Britain with journalists like Nigel Morris. He has no conscience about misrepresenting the British National Party, but objects when we report the truth about him. He's happy to point the finger at others, but very camera shy himself, a typical left-wing double standard. Well, Mr. Morris, your media dishonesty has been noted. Instead of reporting the truth fairly, you report your own version of it using distorted and misleading information. You are a disgrace to journalism and a disgrace to this country. It's about time that enough is enough. 